if you want to add on your stream information what the song is now playing in your system, you can install my extension for OBS that calls Melody Monitor. To install Melody Monitor, go to GitHub, scroll down, you need to open Releases tab, then download zip archive. Then open it in, in Explorer and unzip it. After that, you just need to run exe file. It will be running in your tray. Then you need to right click on this icon and press open in browser. Then just copy this URL and go to the OBS. Press add new source and select browser. You can give it any name. Then paste your copied URL in this field. Then you need to set up width and height. I recommend you to set up these parameters. Then press OK. Now uh, you can turn on the music. And as you can see, the element showing. This information takes from your Windows Media Center. So when you pause, the element is hiding. If you want to provide the dark scene, you can manually type here question mark, seam, dark and then press refresh cache of current page and then it will be in dark sim but also you can go to the tray press right click press settings here you can provide different settings that specified in documentation now available is host port interval and sim Interval is uh, how often a program will be called Windows AP. Now it's 3 seconds. And to change the sim, you need to provide here a sim dark and save this file. Then you can close it and you need to restart the program. And now after program restart, you can go to the, your browser and copy a new URL. If you want to change color accent, you need to make new folder and call it mods. Then go to this folder and make a new text file that ends with CSS. For example, mod1 CSS. Then open it everywhere. I open it in Sublime Text. And uh, you can uh, copy from the documentation hint and you can set any color you want as CSS. For example, I want to change a proper bar color, I can change it. And uh, another I don't interesting, just remove them and save this file. Then I need to restart the program. And now when I go to the OBS, I also can refresh cache and now progress bar will be red.